Whoa. Um, hello, Jenny, where have you been? You may have noticed that I've been missing for a few months. I am sorry about that. I had a few not so great months of uh, mental health issues and that kind of thing. If you've watched some of my videos in the past, then you might know that I do suffer from depression and various things that come along with that. But long story short, I had a couple bad months, uh, a couple of difficult months, I was job hunting, and now I found a job, thank goodness. Um, it's a full-time job, it takes up a lot of my time, but I really like it, and I'm feeling a bit more myself. So I apologize for my absence, thank you for being patient with me, and without further ado, I am back with another Houseplant Spotlight. You can really tell it's been a long time since I filmed, as evidenced by Marilla's new leaves. <laughs> mm. So today I'd like to introduce you to my ficus benjamina, and I've named him Ben. No, I'm just kidding. His name is Guy. So I was observing Guy from across my room the other day and noticed he's getting a bit bushy and um, a little out of control. Now, I recently had a little chop myself, recently as in a few months ago, oh, sorry. And it's high time my plants got a little haircut, a little bit of a chop. Yeah? The most important thing to remember when giving your plants a trim is to have very sharp scissors. These are not plant scissors, these are actually hair cutting scissors, but they're the sharpest scissors I have. You don't want to have any nasty, potentially blunt, just uh, edges when you're trimming your stems. You want a nice, clean slice. So where do we begin? I did spend a little bit of time researching shapes for ficus benjamina. And actually, while I was researching, I realized that these things can grow up to 30 meters tall. Not this one specifically, this is a houseplant variety. There are also so many varieties of this kind of smaller leaved ficus plant. I'm gonna put these down, it's a little dangerous. And a lot of them are just slight differences in the leaves. These different types are called cultivars, and they're given all sorts of different names according to their leaf pattern. This is a slightly variegated leaf, but I'm not sure exactly which cultivar it is. Fig trees can come in all sorts of different sizes. We've seen some with massive leaves about the size of my palm, um, different shades of green, sometimes more cream or yellow or red sometimes. But this one here, the Benjamina, is also known as the weeping fig. And I think that comes from the shape of the leaves and the size of the leaves looking a bit like teardrops and they sort of weep a little bit like willow trees, maybe. I think so. Anyway, let's get cracking on your haircut. Where do I begin? Uh, uh, uh. I don't really know what I'm doing here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that when you're trimming plants, the idea is to get to a spot, kind of like, oh, hang on, maybe I can show you here. You want to sort of trim not in the middle of the stem here, but maybe somewhere like here. You can see like right, right where one of the branches comes out. Not in the middle, because that won't encourage leaf growth. So you want to maybe go here, I think. So what's your story? Well, the ficus benjamina is the official tree of Bangkok. And I also wonder where houseplants might be native, because they're certainly not English trees, that's for sure. Ficus plants and a lot of rubber plants are actually native to Asia, different areas of Asia, and Australia. They are evergreen plants, which means they will stay their color all year round. Sometimes with different levels of sunlight exposure, they might turn more one shade than another, but typically they'll stay the same all year round, no changes. They stay green forever. A 
I probably won't be seeing many flowers on this guy here. RHS.org.uk says flowers insignificant. Mm. But it does talk about reddish orange fruits becoming black. Like, well, figs, I guess. It's a fig tree, right? Ficus? Fig? You probably won't see many of these outdoors these days, at least not somewhere it isn't native. As while, while this one is contained to its pot, outdoors roots can be destructive. Now this may look like a fairly harmless plant, and it kind of is for the average person, but there are a couple of things to consider. While it's a great air purifier, as a lot of plants are, it also comes with its own type of airborne allergens. While you're trimming one of these, or any kind of ficus, also known as rubber plants, and that's because, do you see this white stuff blobbing up here? That's latex. And so for anyone who has a latex allergy, coming into contact with this sap can be very, very irritating and can lead to all kinds of different allergic reactions. So just be careful. For those people, you know, wear gloves probably. I should probably be wearing gloves right now, but it's a little too late for that now. On the bright side though, these plants are fairly low maintenance. They're not really all that picky with their conditions. They like sunshine and they'll reach for sunshine as this one has. And keep in mind they are sensitive to the cold. So keep it away from any drafty windows or any chilly rooms. I'm not entirely sure what kind of shape I'm going for here. Basically just trying to like compact it a bit more. <laughs> There's also quite a few leftover leaves that have just decided to snuggle up inside the nest. Get out of there. Okay, I'm gonna have to do something else here. Whoa. And shake it. Don't do this if you have allergies. Do not do this. In fact, I might actually open the window. I'll be right back. Shake, 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 shake. I will vacuum in here after, I promise. You were long overdue for a nice cleanup, weren't you? Yeah. You'll notice some of these areas where the sap is ready to come out. It might drip a little bit, but typically it can sort of clot or solidify quite quickly. Just be aware that you might have some little sticky droplets. Ah! Sorry. I'm getting a little carried away. Okay. I think we're nearly there. I didn't want to cut it down too much, but ooh, you can actually see like a tree sort of thing. Anyway. And then, just like any stylist, you observe your client from all angles. Mm -hmm. Here. Dun, dun, dun. I was pretty drastic. I guess I could try to shape it into a sort of shrub shape, but I'm really not sure how to do that. Stay tuned for an updated video of this where I've actually learned how to do some trimming. I'm actually kind of surprised that I'm doing such a drastic haircut. Typically I like my boys with long hair, but it works best when you keep it under control and that's what we're working with. When you think you're finished, be sure to properly clean your scissors. You don't want any of that sticky, latexy rubber Bleh, on there. Pop your baby back in his home. He might be a little bit scraggly, but I don't know. I, I think I like it this way. What do you think? Shout out to any fellow holosexuals out there who enjoy Christine as much as I do. She lives in my hometown. Did you know that? Hey. Eh? And there we are for today, I think. Guy's got a nice fresh trim for the end of summer. Overall, I really, really enjoy having this plant. It's sort of one of those iconic house plants that I've seen for years and years and years, and I've never had one myself. Things to keep in mind though, allergies, latex allergies. Like any green plants, they will filter the air, but not if you have allergies. These guys are notorious for 
people's allergies acting up and just making things so much worse. So just be careful. I also really wouldn't recommend having one of these if you've got a very dusty place like I do because there are so many tiny leaves on this guy that you just, you, you can't be bothered to swipe off all the dust. If you have any recommendations for how I might keep one of these dust free or at least tidy it up without having to go by each leaf one by one, then please let me know. Otherwise, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm sorry for my absence. I hope you didn't miss me too much, but I'm back. I'm feeling good. Take extra good care of yourselves. Stay groovy, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Look, he's so little now. Oh, next to what is going on here? <gasps> China doll plant, you're out of control. She's next.